popular sneaker reselling store caught selling stolen sneakers and the end of the road for Nike and one of the greatest athletes of our time. We'll talk about that and up and coming sneaker releases for this week. But before we do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to leave a like if you like today's video. And like always, leave a comment. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Thank you for kicking it with me today. If you don't know by now, I'm HG. Please feel free to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. If you like today's content, give me a thumbs up and like always, leave a comment. Now, kicking today's video off with the end of an error. Today marks the end of a 27 year contract agreement between Tiger Woods and Nike. Back in 1996, when Tiger Woods first signed on that dotted line with Nike, it changed the landscape of golfing community, the sneaker community, and everything else in between. We all know how great Tiger Woods was and how great he is. And we all remember, well, some of us remember all of those crazy imaginative commercials that he did when he was with Nike. What's next for Tiger Woods? Will he re-sign with Nike or will he move on and possibly sign with Adidas? Nobody knows what his next moves are, but all we can really say is thank you, Tiger Woods. It was one hell of a ride and we can't wait to see what's next for you. Now in other sneaker news, a Redditor by the name of Brian reaccounts his tale of trying to sell a pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1 highs in a meetup to seeing his shoes being sold on Cool Kicks' live. Now this story was broke by Not Trippin', so if you want to get more detailed information, you can go to his channel. But in short, uh, Brian said that he was meeting somebody late at night to sell a pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1 highs. He was then robbed at this meetup and later saw his shoes were being sold on a live via Cool Kicks, where he notified Cool Kicks after seeing that live and then basically just brushing him off and telling him the shoes had already been sold and that there was nothing that they could do about it. Now you might be wondering, how did this guy know in particular that these were his shoes? In his tale or in his Reddit post, he showed markers or identifying markers as well as some other details about the shoe that were specific to his and he also pointed out that the two individuals that were selling the shoes to cool kicks were the actual indeed individuals that robbed him that night what do you all think about that what should happen to cool kicks and what should happen with this whole situation now there are some possible um, legal actions that could be going forward and happening to Cool Kicks, but we don't know as of yet. If I find out any more information, we will definitely keep you updated on this story. Now into some sneaker news. Coming January 16th is the release of the Air Force One Black and White at a suggested retail price of $155. Now that's a pretty ticket. And it might seem like a regular Air Force One low to you, with the exception of a white swoosh. But if you take a closer look, it looks like it's being donned with some pretty good premium leather. Now, this isn't the first time that this released. These released back in 2019, I believe. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But this will be releasing again as a quick strike option. And it might be something that you want to go for. It definitely caught my attention and I haven't worn Air Force Ones in a long time. So feel free to give it a look and the possible thought. Up next on January 17th is the release of the Nike Dunk Low Miami Dolphins colorway at a suggested retail price of $115. Now it's obvious why this is being considered the Miami Dolphins colorway with the teal around the toe box and the orange Nike swoosh. This is definitely a good dunk low. A sleeper in my opinion, and uh, for obvious reasons, I know that the dunk is not doing very well this year, but don't pass this one up. It will definitely be a regret if you do. I know a lot of my Miami people are gonna be into this shoe, especially my Dolphins fans with the, all the success that the Dolphins have had this year and last year, especially since they added Tyreek Hill, but yes, that is definitely a good shoe that you might want to consider picking up, so give it a look. Coming in as a triple whammy on January 19th, you've got two pairs of the Air Jordan 1 Golf in the white color and the wolf gray, 
at a suggested retail price of $150. And then you also have the Air Jordan 3 Stardust. And that one is only coming in grade school and below sizes, but I felt like it was still a good shoe to mention. It's got a really nice color blocking on it with the little kind of coral pinkish color, elephant print. But yes, that is definitely one that you all should be looking for, ladies and kids. Now with the Air Jordan 1 Golf, I think this whole golf movement is starting to really pop because of the Travis Scott effect. You know, that Travis Scott golf low that was limited and hard to get. Um, Nike really knows their way around forcing people to grab things that they don't necessarily really want. And this is not exactly a bad colorway in the white or the gray. So you can't really miss grabbing those. If you're a golfer trying to wear these as a regular shoe and I hear it all the time, it is not a great idea. This is solely for the individuals that enjoy collecting sneakers and playing golf. Don't try to make it anything other than that. Now for me, this is going to be a passable light week because I am waiting on the Air Jordan 4 breads that are set to release February 17th. And the only reason I'm mentioning them in this week's release is because there is a rumor that there is going to be a shot drop either this coming week or next week. Now, some people are saying that it's not gonna happen. Some people are still holding hope that it is gonna happen. The only one that's not saying anything is Nike and Jordan brand, and that's who we're really waiting on. But yes, for me, it is a no brainer. I need at least three pairs, whether they do a shock drop or not. So I suggest if I'm looking for three pairs, there's gonna be more of me out there. So do everything you need to do in order to get you a pair. Now, if I get any more information about these shoes, I will definitely keep you updated on how to get them and when they're going to release. Now, with that being said, you let me know about today's news whether it be what might happen with Tiger Woods or should Cool Kicks, if found out to be guilty of selling stolen shoes, should they have legal actions taken against them? Let me know if there's any shoe that's dropping this week that you're gonna try to pick up or if you're gonna do a reach back, let me know what you're reaching back for. Before I go, I cannot leave y'all without saying nothing is impossible. Fight for everything you believe in. Don't let anything stand in your way. I hear YouTube suggest some great videos. They pop up here and they pop up here. So go ahead and check those out and I'll catch you all later. Peace.